welcome to Sassy Goes Keto and this is Sassy here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful cooking up a storm day. I know I am. It's beautiful. It's bright. It's a little chilly outside. So we're going to do a couple things today. First, I'm going to show you some of the good product finds that I found at my local Sam's Club. Um, wonderful deal that's wonderful. Yeah, it's great. Um, I found most of the stuff for my daughter because we are switching her low carb. I've been gradually switching her over. Um, and I found some great deals because we're going to start making her lunches for school. This ought to help out with getting her into a healthier lifestyle along with us. So that way there's no more making separate foods. And the second half of this, I'm going to teach you guys how to make my egg wraps. Um, it is just like a tortilla shell with eggs, and we'll get into that, um, which is very, very low carb. There's like next to, almost next to nothing in it. I'll be using almond flour for that. Um, something simple, easy, um, great fix when you don't have the regular tortilla shells and you need something and you're just like, well, I have these ingredients. What can I make with them? So I'm going to show you how to do an egg wrap. All right, on some of the keto finds, guys, I am so excited. My local Sam's Club is amazing. I haven't been there in a long, long time because they were out of the long stuff, a lot of stuff, but they had replen replenished and they add some new items, plus they had a sale going on. So I was really ecstatic on that. So one of the first things that I found is, guys, the creamy almond butter, and it is delicious. Um, I had opened one up already and had my daughter try it. She was a little iffy because, you know, she's used to the regular peanut butter with all the sugar and the additives and everything else. But she still liked it with other things. So I ordered some keto jelly online that's made with monk fruit through Amazon. And I've got that coming in as well. So that way she can have her peanut butter and jelly. And I'm going to be making her more homemade breads. So that way she can enjoy the the almond butter and I mean it's great guys uh, it has 17 grams of fat saturated fat is 1.5 grams dietary fiber there is or sorry trans fats there's none cholesterol none sodium 80 milligrams total carbohydrates is 6 grams with dietary fiber of 3 grams total sugars is 2 grams there's no added sugar that's just because it is with the almonds protein is 7 grams and that is, there's 21 servings per container, and for one serving is two tablespoons, and it's 200 calories. Let's see if we can get that in for you guys. Get it to focus. And then, guys, I am really excited. It's gluten-free, you know, non-GMO. That's perfect. So, I mean, something to good to switch her over. And they had it for almost $7 a jar at Sam's Club, so I was really happy. Because all my other places, like Walmart and the health food store, they were really, really high. And I was just like, I'm not paying that price for that. I need a bargain. So that way, I can get that. The next item that I found for my daughter, which me and my husband have been trying them as well, it is more of a dirty keto item. So if you're straight, strict keto, this is not for you. But it is something for that I'm switching my daughter to because regular tortillas they're so high in carb y'all very high in carb i didn't notice exactly how many carbs i was having my child eat during the day and wondering why her weight would not level out or go down so as i got to going through that more and more because it wasn't an issue but now i want to get her healthier and start with us so i knocked the carbs down with doctor's permission you know, we're not doing this just on our own. You know, she's under supervision underneath the physician. So that way we can get, make sure she's staying healthy, staying correct. Kids need a lot of different um, vitamins and minerals and stuff like that. That, uh, and, you know, how would I put Instead of um, what us adults need. So we can cut out a lot of things. But kids need that so they can grow healthy. They can get the vitamins they need. Brain supplements, you know, they're still growing. They still got that stuff that they need. So, okay, instead of rambling on, <laughs> what I found her was these nice, um, the Extreme Wellness High Fiber Carb Lean Wraps. And you get eight tortilla wraps in them. And they are really good. They're uh, four net carbs, I believe, for, let's see here. They got 11 grams of dietary fiber, 50 calories, four net carbs per serving. 
Um, they've got extra virgin olive oil in them. They're made with them. There's no trans fats, no sugar added, and no hydrate, hydrogenated oils. So I was pretty super stoked about this to get her. And we tried her on it, and she loves them. So right now we're going to go and try peanut butter and jelly. All kinds of stuff. And guys, these, these wraps are beautiful. I mean, they're like everything. They're soft. You know, they're... It's just, it's really good. I was just really excited, especially to get her on something like that because she's a very finicky eater and trying to get her something that she really likes. And yeah, there's some other ingredients in here um, that a person that would normally be on strict keto would not eat. So there's water, modified wheat starch, wheat protein. Um, there is cellulose. There is whole wheat and it contains 2% of less of the following extra virgin olive oil, salt, exanthem gum, um, my goodness, let's see, ground flax seed, aluminum free, um, I can't, leavening and it says sodium bicarbonate, corn starch, mono calcium phosphate, Preservatives, calcium, phosphate, sorbic acid, dough conditioner, for fumatic acid, mono and diglyceride, sodium, metal bisulfate, <laughs> and it says contains wheat. So, I mean, it's definitely not a clean keto item. Um, I did try one just so that way we can try it. Um, to see what it would taste like and it's really good you know it's made with flaxseed whole wheat and flaxseed so if you have a wheat allergy then this would be definitely something that you would not want to try but since it is for my daughter and it is low carb then yes this is something that I'm going to give her and she likes it so it's also going to be included in a lot of her meal plans to help her get started um, a little bit easier make her make her adjustment a little bit easier now the next find that I the next one that I found so exciting is the keto snack pack I found this at the, the Sam's Club and it was $12 and like I think it said 36 cents or something like that for it and trying to get the glare off of it so what it is is you have two packs of snack mix um, one has which is I mean they're really cute and they're just little snack bits. This whole thing is one serving. And it's great for, and this one has chocolate in it. And yummy, delicious. Oh my goodness. So, um, this one is the Choco Nut Keto Mix. And it comes with a blend of almonds, pecans, hazelnuts, roasted coconut chips, and dark chocolate. It says there's five BN of probiotics, two net carbs, one gram of sugar, 4 grams of protein, 14 grams of fat, and 160 calories. And it's so cute. It's really good and dainty. That'll be something to put in her, her snack box for lunch. And she liked that one so far. Um, we have not tried her on this one. Um, it is just the probiotic keto snack mix. And I'll show that up close. See if we can get the light off of there. And it's cute. It's got little cheese balls in it. It says, it says almonds, pepitas, walnut cheese balls, macadamia nuts, and hazelnuts. And so I guess that's what the pepitas are. No, the pepitas are pumpkin seeds. So, um, but it does say it has cheese balls in it. So, I mean, it's really cute. It's, and I'll, she's going to have a snack today, but she already ate one little snack. So, I might have to hold off and wait for it tomorrow, but it, I mean, it's, it's just really cute. It's something so simple, just really cute snack mix that she can have in there. And I would consider eating these too. So that would be a great on the go for the protein, or I just need something quick to snack because I have the munchies to be, and it's proportion, serve in proportion because everybody knows you put a bag of something in front of you and before you know it, it is gone and you're like, whoa, wait a minute. So cute little bag, you know that you can't eat more than this because you're only opening one bag and you're ready to go. So that was another great find that I found at my local Sam's Club. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now the other one that I found for her because 
I noticed that on a lot of the fruit snacks that I've been getting for her, the Walmart brand stuff, like they're very, very high in sugar, very high in sugar. And I was just like, well, we got to do something to cut this down, you know, because she was almost hypoglycemic because she would eat and then all of a sudden she would be fine and then just total dive down. So we, that's why we went to talk to the doctor to see what we can do um, to get her a little bit healthier. So one of the other things that I found was um, it's definitely not a keto item, but it is great for a low, a low carb child, which is fruit leather. And it came in a box and it, uh, there was 42 of them and it was $11 and something cents at Sam's Club. And they had four different varieties. They have apple, they have cherry, strawberry, and apricot. And so far she does not like the apricot whatsoever. She's not an apricot fan of it. Um, the apple, she's a little on the iffy side of that. Um, she, she really didn't like that one too much, but I think as she progresses into the keto lifestyle a little bit more, then she'll get to start craving something and then she'll be like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and eat that. I'm going to try it. So on some of the carbs and everything, these are a little bit higher carbs, but they're lower than the 34 net carbs that she's been eating per uh, pack of gummies. So the apricot is 11 grams of carbs and one fiber. So that one is 10 net carbs. This is only for one. Um, the strawberry is 12 grams of carbs and one fiber. And there's no added sugar, there's no fats, no trans fats, no saturated fats. So I mean, that's, that's really good. And for her, it's great because it's lower on the carb scale. The cherry is 12 grams of carbohydrates and one fiber, so it makes it 11 total carbs. And the apple is 12 carbs, one fiber, so 11, 11 total carbs as well. And then it's something that I figure that we can put in her her school lunches and I could try and make these on my own too so I'm gonna be trying it to see if I can get something a little bit less carbs I mean but there's a little bit there's nothing in here really so it's a hundred percent fruit there's no added sugar guys it says none no added sugar whatsoever so for each and every one of them they all say no added sugar so really excited for that one and I had to take a little taste of it because she didn't like the apricot one and I love apricots so I took a little taste and it was really, I mean, just the flavor just bursted out and was beaming, but she didn't like that one. So on the, one of the product finds that I found for me is not something probably new to anybody, but our local Sam's Club has smoked Gouda. And oh my gosh, guy, take a slice of this off, take it and put it on your hot plate, melt it up with a piece of bacon. Oh, the cheese is melty, crispy, delicious. Oh my goodness. So I'm like, yummy, yummy, yummy. So it was really, really good. Delicious. I mean, it's one net carb. I love Gouda. Guys, I love Gouda. This is such a good find for me. I was so excited. My husband likes the Jarlsberg, and I forgot that. So I'm kind of on the hot plate on that one. But <laughs> Okay, so that is the product find that I found. So what we're going to do is, um, if you guys have a snack mix that... Um, that you guys give your your kids if they're low carb you know or lower carb or anything leave me in the comment below on what you think of them and what kind of what other kind of snack mixes that are ketoized that are out there i'd be interested to know you know i am trying to get her on the lower hand of the carbs and get her more variety so that way she can stay healthy and then she can she can just have a healthier lifestyle that's and then and join me and dad instead of just eating separate foods you know that's that's the main concern is that way where I'm not cooking 10 different separate meals you know constantly every week I want to try and move everything over so we're on the same page and thank you for tagging me in how to freeze avocados thank you so much Candy, Tersha, Bernie thank you thank you thank you um, I did go to Sam's Club and I did buy me some avocados because my avocados are constantly, I always have to use them and they're constantly going bad and it's just, it's so wasteful because, you know, we do eat them, but I don't eat them enough. So, and then when I notice they're start getting, going to go bad, then, you know, we're constantly going, oh, we got to eat it. We got to find something to eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. <laughs> so this way we can just bring out whatever size that we want. I'm going to freeze it up and then 
let's see how it works. And so I got the, I got the deal. Um, they tagged me on Facebook and Twitter and I got it on uh, Facebook and Twitter. So I was really excited on that. I'm like, yes. So I'm going to try it and then see how that works. So enough jabbering on. Thank you for staying tuned in with me. I really appreciate each and every one of you. For all your new subscribers, hello. My name is Sassy. And this is Sassy Goes Keto. This is where we take products. Um, and they're not, a lot of them are not keto. And I ketoize them. It is a sassy word that I use. Basically, um, anything that I find online, if someone is afraid to try it or don't want to try it, I will make it and try it and see if it works. And then try to make it easier. You know, a lot of times you find a recipe that's like so difficult and you just don't, you just don't want to do it yourself. So that's what the inter the lucky internet is for. Finding someone who's willing to try that for you and tell you whether it's good or not. Now, according to your taste, that's just, um, that's just where you got to go. If you like it, if you're not, everybody's different. Nobody's the same. So this is what we do. Take, an, take a, a recipe and either ketoize it or find a recipe and throw it out there and see how you guys like it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, let me get my oven go or my stove top going and then I'm going to take you through these egg wraps guys. The egg wraps are super, super easy. And look, my daughter made me an apron because she got tired of me, you know, just pulling down on and wiping my hands all over the place. So I bought an apron and she painted it and she put Sassy on it. It's so cute. So I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing it today to give her something to look at and to see. So. And I seem to lost my towel. So we're gonna get this going here. I'm gonna turn my stove onto medium high. And then I have my stand that I will bring over here and then put it over here so that way you guys will be able to see. And then I'm gonna be doing more and more cooking. So the lighting is crazy. I got two new lights for my lights up here. And it is weird because they look like they have the Walmart sign up there. It's so funny. And then it just shines down in rays. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it has like little lines <laughs> just to, to get through there. It's hilarious. I'm just like, okay, trying to get that going. But guys, I got my ring light coming in soon, so I'll be able to use that and we'll see how that works. Little at a time, do what you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'll bring you down here a little bit more. Let's bring you down to see. All right, so what you're going to need for this recipe is you're just going to need your eggs, however many you like. Um, I am going to use, I'm going to do 12 wraps, or uh, 12 eggs. So I've had these setting out for, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes now. Just enough to get warm. They don't have to be warm. You can do them cold. That is fine. That is not a big deal. But I had them setting out already because I'm doing some recipes. Then you're going to need some almond flour. You're only going to need very little. Um, I use about two to four tablespoons of almond flour. And then you're going to need some exanthem gum and eggs. Seasonings, if you like. Um, I like putting Italian seasoning, garlic, salt. Um, sometimes I put Lari seasoning salt inside my wraps just to give them a savory flavor. Guys, these work great also for like making crepes. Crepes are really good to make, and all I do is add vanilla, heavy whipping cream, and some sugar to it, and I mix it up with the eggs, and then I put them down, and then I stuff them with some cream, which I actually, I actually probably could do that today. We'll try it out, and we'll see how much time we have. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and crack my eggs, and get them in here. Three. So how is your guys' uh, weather in your area? Mine has been up and down, up and down. Kansas is very bipolar <laughs> when it comes to weather. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, ten. That one cracked right on the back. Create a mess. Eleven. And 12. Don't fall. 
That one kind of busted. Let me go get a towel because I did make a mess here. So. All right, put them off to the side. And just, let me, this is my hand towel. Get a regular towel and get this egg mess cleaned up here. There we go. So, guess who's going to be bleaching the sink again? All right, let's put this over here on the dirty towel rack. Okay, so now I've got this. I've got my fork. I'm going to take my xanthan gum. I'm just going to be doing two heaping tablespoons. I just took a regular tablespoon out of there and put that in there. And then on your xanthan gum, I usually just give it a little sprinkle, but I'll do a fourth of a teaspoon and just top, top it off. You're not going to need much on the xanthan gum. Whoa. Get in there. And that's just to give it the, the nice stretchy texture for it. And then I'm just going to mix this up. I forgot. I bought one of these. So... Can do it a lot better. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making savory and just make sure that xanthan gum is in there really well. I mean, if you don't want to use the xanthan gum, you can just make an egg wrap. But this right here just makes it a little bit easier and it doesn't fall apart. It makes it bind together really well, and I love it. So I'm like, it's something that I had. I did a video before, but I took it down because I didn't get my recipe for my lasagna correct. And the video that I had just didn't work right, so I didn't do that. All right. So now that I got that, I got me a spatula going. And then um, I'm going to be using a third of a cup. Um, to pour down in each one. I don't know. I usually use a fourth of a cup. So we'll see exactly how much each one does. So let me get you unplugged and get you over here. So that way you can see. And the lighting is going to change. So that way. And then we'll bring it down here. I love this new stick. It works out great. So what I do is I had this on a medium, medium high. But you need, the first one's probably going to be a little hot because I said it, I'd let it heat up a little bit more than what I have. Um, I just have a skillet. You're going to need a lid to put on top so that way when you pour it down, it's going to steam the top of this. And you can use coconut oil. I'm going to be using extra virgin olive oil today. Um, the coconut oil will give it a little bit of coconut taste. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. To give my wrap some flavor and I will I'm doing a savory so I'm going to do a teaspoon of a teaspoon of Italian seasoning Oops, sorry and some salt and then let's see where is my garlic hmm I lost the garlic but I would also put garlic in here as well <laughs> I can't seem to find it. I lost it. Shoo. Oh, there it is. And then a teaspoon of garlic. You can do a half teaspoon if you like. But these are just going to be little, little wraps that I'm going to do. And I'm just going to mix all my ingredients together here. Guess I could have did that over there. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. And then there's the, the egg mixture, if you can see it, because of the light. 
the lighting isn't perfect over here, but we'll get enough. So I'm going to take a little teaspoon of oil and just drizzle it on there just enough. Half a teaspoon, teaspoon. And just make sure it's all over your pan. Just to drizzle it on there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, and then I'm going to take a scoop of my mixture. Let's see if I can get this over here. Scoop of my mixture and I'm going to pour it down on here. Just a thin layer. doesn't have to be super thick. We'll see how this one is, whether I need to make it thinner or not. So I'm going to set this over here. And then what you're going to do right away is you're going to put your lid on top. And what it's going to do is it's going to kind of steam it a little bit. And you're going to let it set for roughly about 30 to 40 seconds, sometimes under a minute. It just really depends. You're going to wait until the top gets to where it is not runny. I guess that's how I put it. I'll pull you down a little bit more to make it a little bit easier to see. All right. And it's already starting to poof up really good. It doesn't take very long to do this. I mean, this is something I want to, this is something that I like using. So when I can't afford, do you know, to buy the wraps because I have all this other product that I'm buying, then I'm just going to go ahead and make them. And you see how it already started to form up on the top. Let me bring you a little bit closer. And it already started to form up on the top there. So, and then I'm just going to flip it over. And this one looks like it might. And then you don't have to put the lid back on it for this part. You can just leave the lid off to the side. The only thing you want is at the very beginning. Yeah, these, are, these are a little thick, but that's okay. I'll just pour a little bit less on it next time. So I'll get my little stand here so that way. I can just put them on there. And then it's already done. So, and then I'm just going to set it over on here, and then I'm going to let it cool. And then I will take you back through and then show you. So I'm going to do one more, and then I'll pause it, and then I'll get these done, and I'll bring you right back through. I don't have to oil it already, because I already did. So, and that's a little bit too warm, so I'm going to turn the temperature down just a tad bit. And a third of a cup is working really well, so... All right, so I'm gonna get these done and then I'll bring you guys right back and then show you the results. All right, guys, I just got them done. I got them cooled off a little bit and then we're just gonna give you a run through and see they're bouncy. They're not gonna pull apart like a regular egg would do and that's the exanthem gum for it. So, I mean, it's got a little tear that you can, if you stretch too hard, it will. But I mean, they're great little wraps. You can refrigerate these for up to a week or more. Um, I did a total of eight days. What I did is I put a paper towel on a Ziploc baggie and then set them on top of the paper towel so that way they collect the moisture. But the, the idea is to take and put them in, um, put them in dry, not wet. So some of them are thicker because I used um, a third of a cup and then there's other ones that I got really thin that I went down to a fourth of a cup to get it down um, so that way I can get it in there or that way I can uh, I can get around 18 of them if I use a fourth of a cup if I use a third of a cup I got 12 so no snacking <laughs> got them all out so that way you guys can see but yeah they're all pretty well you know you can see the, this one is really good you can see the spices that I have put in there and the Italian seasoning and they're delicious guys just roll these up get them going um, let me get a little plate and um, I have a bratwurst here and some caramelized onions and peppers that I can put together. Just to give you, just to give you guys a quick view of how I would make something like the wrap. So what I would do is, this is something that I'm going to eat. So I cut my brat in half. 
and I have to put it up here, I believe. And I like stuffing. I have my caramelized onions here with pepper, green peppers, red peppers, and caramelized onions. And this is just something that I'm going to eat for lunch. I'll put that over there. I'm not going to use all of them. And then I would normally just wrap this up. Let me push it up a little bit more. Wrap it up as a bun. You know, you can choose your bun, not choose your bun. Put some bacon on it. Give yourself a nice delicious wrap. But that would be something that I would eat. And really good. It wraps up easy. You can hold it easy. Treat it just like a bun. Pick it up. And chow it down. Whoa. And then I drop my peppers everywhere. That's okay. So, I mean, that's something that I'm going to eat. I'm like, yummy. Delicious. So. But you guys can do however you like. You know, make something yummy with it. Make something good. Lettuce wrap. We got meat, cheese, tomatoes. You can do a bacon BLT with this kind of wrap. Very delicious. Very easy. Something simple that you guys can do. And we'll get this off to the side. Pull this back up here. And then get you guys back down. So, that's a good recap for today. So, I'm hoping that these wraps give you guys something, you know, cheap to do. that, that uh, Very affordable. That if you can't afford tortilla shells, these work great. They work for a little bit of anything. Yes, they're going to be eggy because they're made out of eggs, but I mean, you can roll them up, you can twist them around, you can make them as a soft taco. You know, you can probably even fry it really good on each side after you get done. Uh, make an omelet out of it, quick omelet, put your cheese and your meat and everything, fold it in half, put it in the air fryer. That works really well too. Really good, quick. You know, you can always prep these up on your weekday. Or your weekend, whenever you decide to do your prepping for the week, get them in a Ziploc baggie with a paper towel. Keep them in your refrigerator for up to eight days. So, works really well. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. One of these sides. I can never get it right right here. Hit that notification bell. And then we shall see you guys on the next recipe. You guys have a wonderful cooking up a storm day. And thank you for joining in. Bye-bye. We'll see you on the next recipe.